to be able to get some easy baskets. Interesting to see how those guys start out. Claire Aubrey throws it up, officiating tonight with Bill Covington Jr. and Ted Valentine. The 82-83 season, Terquavion Smith gets his own rebound. Joiner for the reload, for three. And I guess that shows right now is that for Joiner, again, it's always good to be able to get that first one to go down. Both are capable of filling it up as the shooting guard. Casey Morsell, nothing but net. And it's still sad that Maryland's not in the ACC, but that's another conversation for another day. NC State's first turnover, and Sessoms all the way to the rack. Lays it in. Help, because he's going to break you down early. Tough shot, that's what Terquavion Smith does. Joiner for Mohorcic. Getting a little fancy up and under, but it finds Morsell to Smith. Three! But then when you know... Again, give him daylight. It doesn't matter if you challenge. Look like he may have gotten hit right there. Again, that's one of the guys, again, you've got to stay glued to him because you do not want to see him get going early. Sassums again wins the battle on the dribble and lays it off to Tart for the easy deuce. And the rebound tipped and controlled by Steers. Sassums oh. quickly ahead and Cameron Blue throws it down. And again, they're able to pass the ball ahead. You got guys that are running, being able to finish Blue with the electri electrifying dunk. You see, Juan Dixon talked about the pace is important for those guys. Burns in the lane for two. Burns with a nice soft touch. Clark had it poked away, recovered, sets up Joyner for a great look. And he hits it. How about Steers and the fact that he's come out looking for his offense, realizing that you're not going to have Burns is going to come out there. You see, Joyner with her. Blow by to get to the basket for the basket. There's that nuclear quickness. Right now, defense, you see, Rose come up with a steal. Another turnover. It's a blocking foul and a bucket for Sam Sessoms. How would they react after coming off of a bad loss against Pitt, having a couple of days? Right now, it seems like they've come out and they've been energetic, sharing the ball, and then being able to come up with opportunities. And as you see, Smith wide open. Deep three, Terquavion Smith. Long rebound tracked by Smith. Another deep shot. Smith. Whoa, are you kidding me? Unable to pay it off. Long rebound in midcourt. Smith steals it away. Passes up the shot. Gives it to the corner. Breon pass knocks down his first three of the season. They got to knock one of these down. Rojas can't do it. Rebound tip to Sessoms. If you're cop in state, would you do great? Great pass by Sessoms. Nice dime over there to Tart. Ernest Ross. Back to the corner for Joyner. For three. Force Mahorchus to make a play. Oh, incredible block. Ernest Ross says no. Joyner to the corner. Smith. God. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. And he gave Pittsburgh credit, but he also said we got a lot of good looks and we just didn't hit. They're showing that they could knock those shots down tonight. Smith again! Oh, man. And the Stop foul. it! Stop it! Stop it! Going against Morcell. Good hands. Clark with a steal. Mohorcic gets the touch he was looking for and pays it off. And here's the thing, you keep seeing uh, Mohorcic run and run. Wolfpack scored 107 against FIU. They're on pace for like 135, 140 right now. Sam Sessoms not having a bad half himself. He's got five. Rebound pulled down by Blue. Mike Hood knocks down the first three of the night for Coppin State. Yeah, well, you know, especially in that 1990 team between me and, and Dennis Scott and Kenny Anderson. Shout out Bobby Grimmins. You know, my guys lead the weapon three, but it was definitely a, 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 a time where we played a lot of minutes. And here's the thing, which you've seen, the adjustment. Coppin State has done a better job getting back in transition defense. And even though NC State is getting the stop, being able to get back, you see nice pass by Burns. And a little pirouette and finish from Casey Morris. His first option is to look for that backside cutter. Bad pass stolen by Morsell. Showtime for Joyner. NC State's now three for seven. Comfortable 22-point lead. And oh, 
Morrison turned away. Well, when we talked with Kevin Keats early, and you see Marcel going down on the floor, he knew that they had to put a lot of attention towards Sessom. As you see Ross being in a battle up. Look what he found. come up, he's like, look, he's here. To stifle Coppin State. And then the ball movement, obviously the shape music, great pass. Back door by Ross. And again, Mahorch is another one of those guys, again, along with Burns. 15 assists on 18 field goals for NC State. As Coppin gets two more on the drive. Shot clock off, 10 seconds in the half. Sessence with the ball on a string, takes it. Makes nice it. Nice bucket, nice bucket. Joyner comes up with a rebound. Joyner takes it. Makes it. And here's the thing. He puts so much pressure on the defense. You've got a big that's backtracking. Great control of being able to pull up on and knock down that three. 17 now for Joyner, but a quick answer for Coppin. You notice that once the guards get that ball, bigs are out running. And how about the probe there by Joyner again? Oh, slam follow for Blue. Wouldn't stay. Tark on a third chance inside for the Slovenian Luka Tkaucic. Joiner, oh, the contact man. in the bucket. Man. 22 overall. Open man is blue for three. Good penetration by Sessom to being able to create that opportunity. Quavion has been quiet so far in the second half. 0 for 2. Man. Not anymore. Nice blow by it. And, and again, take one on Smith again. And see, this is one of the things that Clark does well. He hasn't really had a good offensive night, but he's a good defender on the perimeter. Being able to hold his on, you see good time. Wow. Right down Broadway, Justin Steers. The NC State has dominated this ball game. Coppin State, again, down 16. An opportunity, you see, a blow by, by Sessoms. And again, what he has done again. It's be a key stop for the Coppin State Eagles. But Man. Cartel Joyner has the answer. That is strong because, again, Wolfpack dodged a couple of bullets there. They did. Smith finds the spot, puts it in. You can give him the rock, and that'll be able to get him a bucket and then pull a, a run. Another miss from the corner, but on the offensive glass, ended Tark lays it in. Mahorchic goes down hard, keeps it alive. Mahorchic is down as Smith scores. You see Mahorchic down on the ground right there. We're going to be joined here momentarily by the legendary Derek Wittenberg as Coppin State cans a three. It's, it's hard to believe. It's 40 years, and these fans still appreciate it so much. And I, I love these fans. I love our supporters, our, our teammates. Uh, what a special moment and a special time in my career here. How, uh, how magical was it going, winning the ACC tournament, and then going on for that magical run to eventually win the national championship? Well, it started right here, guys, when we... We scored 130 points against Wake Forest. Talk about some of those games and some of the competition and just how well balanced your team was. We played the number one team in the country. Oh, oh man. Jack Clark. How about wow. that for Jack Clark? Remember, Carolina won the national championship in 82. And we came back in 183. So great competition, but veteran teams that played together and stayed together. No shot clock. No three-pointer, guys. We came back and tied that game up with 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 the best free throw shooter in the in the maybe in the country. D. Well, let me ask you this: as you look at this team right now, what's your assessment of this Wolfpack team now? As you've seen them in this early non-conference play, big guys are coming along. I think that as we learn each other, because remember, this is still a brand new team. Yeah. And we try, we still trying to gel. Oh my! Trying to come together, find an identity. An awful lot of attention for Taquan Smith. But how, how about Jarquel Joyner? As you Look see, out. nice pass by Burns uh, to get Smith in. And Coppin very much within striking distance here. And Sessoms. Oh, he missed the layup. He gets it back. And he puts it in to make it a 10-point game with seven minutes to play. Burns has size on everybody. Sets up Smith, passes up the three, sets up Joyner, who knocks it down.
Five minutes in the game. Joyner, short. Oh, Clark rips it away. More sell from the baseline. And Evan, those are the 50-50 balls again that don't show up in the stat sheet. Especially when you're going back, that's got to be huge for them. And how about Jack Clark? He's won for his last 15 from the floor, but he's impacting the game in so many other ways. The Wolfpack created separation early. Led 40 to 15 in the first half. The Quaylion Smith to the pass. Oh man, what a ball by. Love that high pick and roll action. Being right. able to touch the paint. The crowd never gets louder when there's free chicken on the line. To the bucket, Joyner. He's got 29. Coppin State is out of timeouts. Smith for Ross for two. But here's the thing. You're up by 16. You exhaust a little bit of shot clock and you go that high pick and roll because again it has shown or just Why go not? ahead and just shoot from half court. Why not? <laughs> He's on track to do it. Step back jumper good for Cameron Blue. Seven points for Blue. LJ Thomas looking for his shot. He scores. Thomas is another one of those guys again. Good finisher at the, at the rim. Wolfpack improved to 24 and 2 in this building since the turn of the century with a 94-72 win over Coppin State.